Cheers. Cheers. <sighs> Groovy, baby. That's out of sight. Mm -hmm. What up, everyone? It's your boy Soju and Bob from the Straight Chillin' Podcast. We are back with another Drunken Reactions video. We're talking about another trailer. This is the first and newest trailer released for the new film directed and written by Edgar Wright, Last Night in Soho. Mm -hmm. So, Edgar Wright... He's not new to the game. He's directed some notable films. Rob, one of your favorites, one of my favorites. Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead. Fantastic. Um, fantastic horror comedy. Uh, what else has he done? Baby Driver. Hot Fuzz. Hot Fuzz. The Cornetto Trilogy, yeah. if you will. So he's done a lot of films, and uh, I like his style. Like very stylized mm -hmm. director. Mm -hmm. um, and this one is starring uh, Anya Taylor-Joy. Yeah. Who is huge in the horror genre. Yeah, huge in general, but sp especially in the horror genre. Getting, She's been doing yeah, a lot of work. Breaking yeah. out a little bit. She did that, that chess series on Netflix mm -hmm. that was really popular. Yeah, Queen's Gambit. Queen's Gambit. Oh, that was a yeah, good show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was in The V. New Mutants. New Mutants. I, mean, I still haven't seen that. Um, she was in... Split. Yep. Split. So definitely very notable in the horror genre. And um, I don't know if this is strictly horror or not. I don't know a lot about this film. Yeah, the whole plot for this has been very hush-hush. I think it's been in the can for quite a while. Um, the release date now is October 22nd of 2021. Okay. Um, so it should be getting a, a, a wide release, uh, really easy to see this fall. Um I think the gist of it is it's sort of science fiction. Anya Taylor Joy's character is somehow able to travel back in time to the 1960s London, um, and I guess she's very involved in high fashion. And there's a, another character she sort of idolizes um, mm -hmm. that is a fashion designer. That's 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 really all that we know about it. Okay. Um, never seen the trailer before. We're about mm -hmm. to get into it and see what's what. All right, let's check it out. All right. is making you lonely you can always go downtown when you've got troubles all the noise and the hurry seems to help i know downtown just listen to the music of the traffic in the city Linger on the sidewalks where the neon signs are pretty. How can you lose? The lights are much brighter there. You can forget all your troubles. Get all your cares, so go downtown. Things will be great when you're downtown. No fun or place for sure. So, Bob, initial thoughts. I got a lot of thoughts. Uh, so, it seems as though there's a bit of a body swap situation going on with this plot. At first, I was like, wait a second. That's not on your Taylor. Yeah, that's not on your I got to like, <laughs> check it a couple times yeah. with the brown hair. And I was like, okay, no, I'm not I'm not crazy. Yeah. But um, also, starting off the trailer, mm -hmm. dramatic. Yep. <laughs> what well, like uh, that turned me off a little bit. I was like, "Are we doing this again?" Are the the pop song slowed down. Yeah, but yeah. 
I gotta say though, I was pretty intrigued and impressed by the trailer so far. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's two actresses mm -hmm. playing this same character, it seems, at the same time. Yeah, so it seems like there's a main character in present day who then somehow travels back to the 60s and inhabits somebody that she looks up to, I guess, who is a fashion designer. Okay, is that what it is? Yeah, I see, okay. Yeah. I didn't know she was just taking on a persona of that time. Okay, That's, but she is, like, in the life. That's what it maybe. looks like to yeah. me, anyway. yeah. And they kind of answered the question I have of, is this horror-based? It seemed like it was. Yeah, so, yeah, there's... We were, we were talking about, like, Edgar Wright's filmography, and a lot of those movies, really just all of them, have a pretty healthy dose of comedy. This yeah. looks like straight-up, like, thriller horror. So there wasn't any hint of that. Now, True. I haven't seen any film of his that I felt like didn't have it, but... Also, so that's we, intriguing. We also didn't hear any dialogue in this. It's true, so yeah. It's hard all to, the song. hard to totally gauge the tone, but based on, like, the cinematography, mm -hmm. um, it looks very horror. I would say, like, leaning towards Jalo, actually. I was about to say Jalo, because yeah. the the red, the blues, mm -hmm. the the gloved holding the knife, mm -hmm. gloved hand the, knife. the knife, yeah, uh, the glass cracking. It's got it's got an old school vibe. To In the setting of the sixties, I know Jalo yeah, is kind of like yeah. later sixties, maybe early seventies, right? Yeah, but yeah, still, yeah. I mean. Maybe that's kind of what he's going for. That's very interesting. It is. It's, it's got the fin, like, kind of fatality. She's got the blonde totally. hair with the curls. Huh. Yeah, maybe uh, Maybe that's maybe that whole subgenre is making a bit of a resurgence, especially because we know that James Wan later this year is supposed to have a straight-up Jalo movie coming that's out, too. That's true. That's true. Maybe Edgar Wright said, you know what? I'm going to beat him yeah, to it. I'm going to beat him. <laughs> <laughs> So, huh, I I liked the trailer in general, not knowing anything almost about this. Um, I liked the timepiece. Um, everything, like, in it looked very aesthetically pleasing. London in the 60s. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. These kind of get-ups that everybody was wearing. Yeah, there was a, a marquee uh, at a theater for yeah. Sean Connery starring in Thunderball. Yeah. <laughs> so I like kind of time pieces that you know flow yeah. around a certain like historical event maybe or like it sounds like maybe they even tie into like the fashion scene of london at this mm -hmm. time i don't know that's that's very interesting um i like the look of it i still don't really know do you have any kind of like clear hint about because there was a mention of ghosts right yeah do you believe in ghosts yeah so but yeah. then there was the knife we saw uh -huh. the knife is it a, like a more jalo slasher yeah. ghosties what do you what did you get what impression did you get hey man it, it's hard to guess what what they're reaching for here because it seems like they're they're taking a lot of different subgenres and mashing them together with like the time travel the jalo yeah uh the 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 body swap mm -hmm. uh, i don't the know the time the, era it, yeah, yeah. It's, it's hard it's hard to, I don't know. Like, is hmm. is there a ghosty that's possessing this character, making the ghost of the woman from the '60s is possessing our modern day character, mm -hmm. making her think that she's traveled back in time when she really hasn't traveled back in that time? That could even tie, like, with something we talked about just last year, possessor. Like, the, are there two yeah. minds embodying like yeah. the same, the same, the same body, body yeah. Yeah. Huh. battling for control? Could be. We don't know, but I will yeah. say I'm intrigued. Me too. I will say yeah. the look, the cinematography of it looks very interesting and clean and good. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I think I'm intrigued by just like the costume design, the characters that are going to be in this. Mm. So definitely piqued my interest. I have to believe. I don't know how this works out with like studios and stuff like that, but it's being released October 22nd. Mm -hmm. yeah. a week before Halloween that yeah. has to have some kind of significance right I would think so yeah I mean that's prime time for for scary movies yeah you know studios recognize that for sure so I think I would hope that they're ca they're cashing in on that by yeah. releasing a horror movie okay well we'll see it definitely does seem more clear now that this is horror driven mm -hmm. I hope we don't get our expectations too high like this is a horror and, and there's a twist and maybe it's not since it's Edgar Wright, I will be more open-minded. Mm -hmm. I know that there tends to be more comedy involved in his films, so maybe I'll expect to see that. Maybe mm -hmm. I'll be surprised. I don't know what I'm getting. I kind of like that, though. Yeah, only time will tell. It yeah. definitely seems like he's got a vision. Like, the art direction is very honed in. It feels, like, very intentional. So yeah. I'm, I'm trusting in the filmmaker. Okay. 
Well, have you seen this trailer before? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons to get some weekly horror content from the Straight Chillin' Podcast. And until next time, don't forget to keep chillin'. Keep chillin'.